What's up guys, welcome back to the Detail Garage. We're glad you could join us. Today we're here with another quick tip on how to polish your car. Now this Nissan Altima is the perfect canvas to show you guys exactly how to polish and how to remove scratches and swirls. Because if you look at this paintwork, it's completely thrashed. The owner looks like they're either a wild bobcat or they just don't know exactly what they're doing when they're washing their car. So now it's got tons of swirls and scratches, really deep imperfections, but I'm gonna show you how to remove it to revive that factory finish. So over here, I've got V34 and V36. These are the two compounds I've chosen to polish this car because V34 has deep abrasives that's gonna help refine the clear coat to bring back fresh paint. And then to really jewel the paint and finish it off, we're gonna use V36, which is a cutting polish to give it that last touch. And also I've got my Torque 10 FX set up here. Since I'm gonna be working a small section, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to use the polisher and the right pressure and the right technique. So to start off, I'm gonna place my pad on the machine. It's important that you center the pad as best as you can this way, as it spins, it's not going to be throwing off a balance and it's going to give you the best results. And then we'll apply five dime-sized drops of the pad. We'll just shake the bottle before we begin. Now that we've applied our five dime-sized drops, we'll spray some pad conditioner. And what this is going to do is help reduce friction with the pad and also it helps rejuvenate the chemical. This way it's giving it enough time to break down over the surface. And now we're going to blotch it out in a small section. And then on the lowest speed setting, we're gonna spread this out and then we're ready to start polishing. We're gonna go on the high speed setting all the way over this. We're gonna do probably one pass up, then another pass backwards. That should be enough to give it enough to break down. So it's important to keep the pad perfectly flat. This way it's not digging in or creating some kind of hologram or marring effect. And also the amount of pressure makes a big difference. So I'm gonna let my hand rest on the machine that's about five pounds of pressure. And if you put any more than that, it's gonna stall the pad, which means these lines aren't gonna be moving. And in that case, you're not doing anything to the paint. It's simply vibrating across the paint. And you're not cutting, it's not polishing. So we're gonna spread it out and get started. Well guys, there you have it. You see it's been a huge transformation. It's basically night and day from how it looked before. This side, most of the scratch and swirls have been removed. It's not 100% correction, but it's definitely a whole lot better than it was when we came in. Now this car is ready for its next step where it can either be glazed, sealed, or waxed, or all three, to give it that ultimate shine. So if you guys want more of these products, go to our website, chemicalguys.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage.